Hey, this is Ray Dombrowski. In today's video, I want to show you how you can make compound paths in Adobe Illustrator to clip out art such as textures or photos using clipping masks. So here I've got some vector type that I designed for my typographic logos class. And when I select it, you'll see that each letter is a separate shape, a separate path. And what I want to do is I want to place in a plastisol texture. And my plastisol textures emulate the look of cracked vintage plastisol ink, like vintage t-shirt ink. So one way to accomplish this is just to assign our bitmap texture the background color. But let's say we just want the texture to show through the white area of the type. So let me just cut that texture. I'll create a new layer and just paste it in front and then hide that layer. Let me go back down to our bottom layer with the type and I'll select the white part and just copy it, Command C. And now let me just hide that and I'll go back to our top layer with the texture and I'll go Command F to paste in front. Let me just change it to black so you can see it. And what I want to do here is in the Pathfinder menu, just click on the Merge button and that'll take all those shapes and merge it down into one shape. The only problem here is we have the black color and then we have the insides of some of these letters. So we just need to select the black, go select same fill color, and then select inverse and then just hit delete. So now we've just got our black path and it's one big shape. But what we need to do is go object compound path make and that will allow us to use it as a clipping mask so now we select the black type and the texture and go object clipping mask make and now you'll see it clips out that texture so it's only the shape of the type let me turn that bottom layer back on and you'll see how the texture is just over the white type now you can do this with photographs with textures with any JPEG or bitmap image. The nice thing about these bitmap textures is you can assign them any color. So let's say I just wanted that to be a gray color or I wanted it to go to black. Now you know how to make compound paths and use them as clipping masks in Adobe Illustrator. So if you'd like to find out more about my typographic logos class or my plastisol textures, have a look at the links below the video. Thanks for watching.